What's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza to Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of Mad Pack here on the Mad Pack server. Guys, welcome to our base. Welcome to our base. Welcome to our base. So you guys know how yesterday we found these, like, little, uh, weird... They're, like, runic temples, basically. They're, like, um, quest areas, I suppose. That's what you guys commented, at least on the last video, how this is, like, part of a quest, apparently, in the nether. And, uh, I don't really know exactly uh, the temple, or the guy above, I should say. Uh, where is it? This dude right over here? Oh, actually, I blocked it off. I'll get into that in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, there's a guy up top here. Apparently, it's part of a quest. So, we're gonna go ahead and ransack his house, and, uh, kinda already did that. The area just looks a little bit neat for right now. I haven't really tied up the base at all to myself, but, uh, this is the base of where we're gonna be keeping home and refuge for a while i went ahead and placed on a marker this is where we are in relative to our spawn pretty far out from where we initially came from but i think it's a good thing personally we're fully enclosed in so no mobs can get to us you see there's a little back wall right here covered it all up with netherrack so we're good even if like those like flying guys come around from there because they like to bug you even if you didn't even do anything in the nether i was literally just afk here for like five minutes in a different spot um and they just kept flying after me I, I literally did nothing they just wanted to attack me for no reason and the problem is they come from anywhere you know what i mean they will literally spawn in from anywhere so you can't avoid them it's not like you can get to a safe place except when you close yourself in like we did right over here so welcome to our new humble abode guys we got something ultimate exciting to do ultimate exciting to do yesterday we unlocked unlocked we made the transmutation table which is by far the greatest thing that i think we've done so far now i've seen oh we got a mob out there scarlet belf i've seen this before i've never actually worked with this transmutation in specific because you guys know back in crazy craft 3 crazy aircraft Pretty much all those you had the emc table which was that uh or the ee3 table rather which is that like giant shock thing that you had to implant in the ground that was a different mod this is a little bit more different and i think a little bit more polished actually so i'm gonna go place it down right now there it is baby project e transmutation table so how does it work you right click it right now and basically let me see uh emc so i don't really know what any of this stuff is right here basically you have zero emc at the moment and every item that you have in minecraft at least none of the specialized like for example jelly king's wad doesn't have emc uh ancient sword from fossils and archaeology doesn't have emc you got raw pinky meat from lycanites doesn't have emc but vanilla type uh items like coal for example um what else do we want to point out right now diamond pet armor diamonds gold iron door stone slabs those all actually these don't is on EMC for some reason. Okay, that's a little bit odd. Different item I'm not supposed to be able to get. Either way, Minecraft vanilla items and about that have EMC. So what you could do then, for example, diamond pet armor, is you can place the diamond pet armor in here, and you've now learned it. And then what you can do, I believe... Hmm. How does this work? I'm gonna have to remember exactly how to do this. Let me, let me figure this out real fast here. You think you know how to do something, and you go into the episode like, Oh no, dude, I got this. Don't worry about it. And that's like, nope. You're gonna just make a giant fool out of yourself to your viewers. But hey, I'm admitting that I don't know how to use it. I thought that I did. thought it was just as simple as placing it down. Obviously not. Let's, let's, let's do a little research. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So basically what you have to do. So this time pet armor has 40,960 EMC. You take this and you put it in the fire and right there that learns up. So we have 40,000 EMC and now it's on the right side over here. So basically EMC is a currency. I'm sure you guys all know this, but for those of you that don't, I'll give you a little rundown. EMC is currency. So now pretty much what I can do is I can now, um, buy things worth 40,960 emc so like for example if i was to take some rotten flesh over here and i burn this up right that learns it okay i'll get into that in a second so now that we've learned it right well i'll get into it now when you burn an item the transportation table learns it so once you have one of the item like for example if you put in a diamond which i can go ahead and do right now we've learned up a diamond and we now have fifty-seven thousand emc so because we've learned up the diamond we can now buy infinite amounts of them right now you can see we took out a little bit of emc and we've only got thirty-two thousand, so we don't have enough to buy the diamond horse armor anymore hence why it's no longer there but what we can do is keep buying more diamonds with the emc that we traded out and you guys can see right about there with that diamond horse armor that we put in we got ourselves some extra diamonds because it burned the emc so i can burn another bit of horse armor right there we've already learned it i could buy a few more diamonds from this right there and in total we've got now 12 diamonds 
that's just sick it's just freaking amazing so it's really really cool and the fact that you can actually take anything that you buy and just put it right back in so for example oh i don't want 12 diamonds that's fine go ahead and burn it you got ninety-six thousand. it's like well you know i want the diamond pet armor that i got okay fine go ahead and take both of them back out go ahead and take back out all the diamonds they had go ahead and take out the rotten flesh and then there you go there's literally no mc left it's a little bit different than the ee3 table i believe a little bit different but for the most part it's pretty simple and then obviously i think from right over here if i was to go ahead and uh let's see let's put back in these guys right here so we can burn some emc and then i believe if i search up diamond yeah so that's the way of filtering it is obviously this outer ring is going to be a little bit kind of weird and i believe if you burn the coal right so the coal itself actually goes in on the middle ring right over here. The reason being is that this middle ring, kind of, is the fuel that you can buy. The outer ring is the items you can buy. So it's a little bit different than that. And then the left side ring right over here, uh, these are apparently used for teaching the table items or charging client stars. So for example, if I was want to teach it coal but not actually burn the item, I could put the coal over here and now I've learned coal and then I can simply take the coal out. It's pretty simple. And then uh, client stars i don't really know what that is i don't know what charging a client star even does but for the most part and then this slot over here uh less slots these are used what is this slot right here what is this book unlearned oh okay that makes a lot of sense so if you want to unlearn an item you put it inside the i don't know how i didn't guess that i'm actually kind of surprised at myself way to go brandon you're a bit of a moron so yeah apparently um that's where you put it to unlearn it i was to say you don't want to allow yourself to buy diamonds anymore take a diamond out unlearn it and then bam there you go but i think in doing that did i lose anything i don't think that i did no i'm fine so that's the emc table right there the transportation table i probably should actually show you guys in a larger gui scale like this Consider me a bit of an idiot. I'm sorry if you're watching on mobile. Rest in peace, mobile press up the bare specs. But yeah, that's the EMC table. It's absolutely insane. It's going to be a pretty big help to us in the future. So the only thing that I'm kind of worried about right now, right, is uh, our food supply. So now that we've got diamonds, now that we've got the diamond pet armor, we've got 102,000 EMC that we can spend. We could spend that on rotten flesh if we wanted to, right? Like, for example shift click you got a stack of rotten flesh there and it literally costs next to nothing so this is food for us right this is the only food that we currently have that is emc valued other food we have to get from other dimensions um i'm not really sure how exactly we want to go about this because i don't think is there any other vanilla minecraft food that you can get in the nether that would be able to be cooked i'm not actually sure you know what there is though there is stew. We could learn mushroom stew if we really wanted to. Although I'm not sure if I want to. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, mushroom stew would be helpful, yes. But we would have to carry a lot of goods. Actually, now that I think about it, we might not have to carry that many. So I've got a little bit of an idea. Let's, um, okay. Let's just teleport out to a random area that wouldn't hurt us, hopefully. Let's do maybe teleport height 80 over on this location right over here. And we're good. Okay, cool. So we got some, uh, oh, conveniently enough, we got some brown mushrooms right over here. So this is the idea that I've got, right? If we take a bunch of brown mushrooms, so obviously we only need one, and we now got them permanently learned. Uh, let me go ahead and, uh, oh, I don't know if I can make this jump. Oh, oh I, I should not make those jumps. I really should not even attempt them, but they're just so fun. They're really just so fun. So let me go ahead and hop up here then, and then, okay, sweet. So we got the red mushrooms, beautiful. So now that we've got those, right? We got the brown and we got the red mushrooms. Now we got to find a location that has trees. So this would be over in this area right over here. Teleport height to 80 and we are right above trees looking beautiful. So now we can do that. I don't know whether or not this is hellbark wood. I don't think this would have EMC. Let me actually take a look though. You, oh, you do have EMC. All right. That's kind of cool. I rate that for sure. Um, so I guess what we could do in that case then is let's go ahead and teleport back home then. So home teleport, right? we want to go 37 for our height and we're suffocating. Awesome. Where are we right now? Oh, I misclicked by a little bit right there. It's not the best teleportation method in the world, but it's still fine enough. So now that we've done that, what my idea is, let's go ahead and learn up the hellbark wood into here and let's take a full stack out right there. I just love that. You got a stack of woods easily. It's so good. So, uh, full crafting table out. We'll go ahead and place this guy down right here. There's probably another crafting table in here somewhere. Actually, there are, I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Okay, cool. So, we got a crafting table then. Let's go ahead and then make a bowl. Can we make a bowl then? So, we can make four bowls like this right now. Uh, let me go ahead and put away a bunch of just stuff we don't need. You guys know that phrase. Let's put away a bunch of stuff we don't need. It's like one of my most common phrases. I tell you, just like... 
Oh, my, my language skills are so on par. So now that we've got that right, let's go ahead and learn the mushrooms and the other mushroom. So we'll learn that up and learn that up there. So now what we can do is have a stack of those, two stacks of those, and then two stacks of these. And then as long as we've got a bowl on us, right? We only really need one bowl at a time. Maybe, if, yeah, we can do two. I think we can do two bowls at a time. We'll go ahead and put the others away. So just while we're off, you know what I mean? We can just take the bowl and take the mushroom stew, and then we can just, ooh, we want to do that. And then there you go. Two mushroom stews, and then that's just your food supply. It's not the greatest food supply in the world, because obviously you can't stack it, and, you know, you can't really work with it. But uh, it does give a lot of saturation, though, for sure. And I think that's really, I rate that for sure. So we have unlimited food now. That has been solved. The only thing I'm trying to figure out now is if there's any other items that we may want to drop in the EMC table that we possibly can. Gold, I guess we could drop in here. Don't really know if we'll need it for anything, so we've learned up gold. Um, what? I guess we could just... Really, it's a form of a chest as well. We don't really need, you know, other storage because if we need storage, we can just drop it in here and just get it later, so we're fine. Uh, what else do we want to learn? Blaze powder. That might be a good one for sure. Uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. Gas tears. I think there were some gas tears in these chests, right? At least I think so. Did I grab one? I don't know if there's gas tears. Ooh, I actually already had that in here. Uh, gunpowder, netherrack, we can learn up right now. Can't learn any of those guys. Anvils. We can learn up an anvil if we really wanted to, but I don't really know if we're going to be using an anvil for anything yet. Uh, let me actually check right here. Is there gas tears inside of this chest right over here? There's an emerald. Okay, and flints. I rate that for sure, so we can get unlimited to both of those. Don't really know if an emerald's going to come in necessary right now. Gas tears, cool. And bookshelves. It's going to be good for enchanting later. So we'll learn the bookshelves, gas tiers, flint, emerald, and uh, what else do we want to learn? Netherrack we can learn up right there. Obsidian, gunpowder, iron bars. Why freaking not? Uh, Philosopher's stone. Can we learn this up? Oh, we can learn up philosopher's stones. My god. That's incredible. So yeah, uh, we have the fuel in the middle right here. Gunpowder, blaze powder, whatever it may be. And of course, you can go ahead and shift through the items if you want to go any further. Just by manual sorting or whatever. But if we need to learn, for example, flint. It's on the second page. We can go ahead and take flint right there. Look it up. We're good to go. This is actually oh, so good. This is an advanced... Let's take a look at the next quest we got here. So the next quest is going to be bridging the gap. What do we got here? Craft a coin mill. You finally have a good use of all the coins collected from the Aether. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. An ultra member of the Banati has discovered the hidden secret of cross-dimensional currency. By sacrificing Aether coins on the alchemical coin altar, you will be granted EMC by the mod god Sin Killer J. Ignore the god and gnome living in the box who hands you the money. It's totally fine. He's un annoyed, unionized, unionized. Okay, so this is a way to get more EMC. Okay, sure. Why not? Um, I think we'll do that in a little bit, in all honesty. What I want to focus on right now is just, like, really getting a good stash of EMC. So I think the game plan for right now is going to be... Uh, oh, you know what? I just realized something. We can get multiple questing books if we really want to. Quest book? Load that back up. Is it the same? There we go. That's kind of cool right there. Okay, I write that for sure. So we need more quest books. Don't really think we'd ever need it. Um, we can. Diamond pickaxe, we might as well learn. Um, I don't really know. Actually, does it go in... Oh, interesting. So if you put in, I don't know if you guys saw right there, but the EMC for the diamond pick that I had right then was 19,000 because it was damaged. But when I put the pickaxe back in, it fully repaired it, but the EMC went up. So it's kind of like an auto repair. It's kind of like an auto anvil, but it's at a little bit of a cost. That's kind of cool. All right, so that's interesting. Um, but what I'm thinking that I want to do for right now, though, Hellbark Sapling, learn that up right there. Let's just go on a giant spree. Let's just go on a massive spree of getting ores, getting items, getting whatever it may be from this dimension right now and dropping it into the EMC table. So we need anything from the nether, we've got it instantly. So it's going to be our game plan. Let's go ahead and teleport out and go on a little bit of a run. Taking a little bit of time being underground at the moment. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm mining up every ore that I possibly can. And I'm going to go back home and smelt it and see which of them... Um, which of them offer- ooh, ooh, did not actually- whoa, 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 this might be bad, this might be bad. Uh, this is gonna set up a chain reaction, huh? Are we good now? Are we good on the explosions? 
Thank you very much. Okay. So we've got a good amount of ores right now. Kind of just like going around through seeing what else I can handle for the moment. Um, yeah, there we go. What do we have over here that we can maybe see? This is tin ore and uh, what are you? Mithril ore. I think I already have mithril on me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got mithril ore. And then whatever on earth that is over there looks like iron to me. Let's go and take a look. So you are... What may you be? You are, yeah, iron ore. So sweet. So basically just learning out anything that I possibly can and then also trying to find any EMC value in itself. So we have a golden chest plate, 16,000 EMC. Pretty cheap and easy in my opinion. Um, we're just kind of going on a bit of a spending spear right now. I like it. Holy fudge, the freaking armada, dude. There's three ships right next to each other. What the fudge? Yo, this is actually kind of cool. Holy damn, there's four of them. Wow, I've only seen like one at a time, but that's actually pretty impressive that I didn't even take a look at these guys. Holy crud. There's just casually four ships. Just right over there. Ready for it. Oh, we can actually learn spider eyes if we want to do Fermented spider eyes we can learn as well. Okay. Alright, I like these options. Alright, so we've gotten everything that we need here. So let's go ahead and teleport over to 37 uh, right here on our home. Hopefully it don't suffocate. Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop everything that I just currently obtained. So what do we have in total? We have, uh, let's see here. Uh, pig iron ore, redstone ore, lead ore, tin ore, lapis ore, amber ore, gold ore, pedriot, or per, peridot? Peridot ore, uh, iron ore, mithril ore, uh, sulfur ore, quartz ore, uranium ore, which is actually a pretty odd one, I hadn't seen that before, and copper ore. That seems to be about it, uh, we've got a few things of everything else, but what I'm gonna do right now, though, is actually go back over to, where was it, this is our chest, okay, so 56, I believe it was, yeah, so we'll do 57 on that teleport right there, cool, what do we have inside, oh, yeah. Okay, we definitely need to take this back for sure. Um, what do we have in here that we could actually trade for EMC? We got more Ambrosium. I'm just going to take everything and move it to our new home. So Flaming Sword. Can we just grab everything? Literally just grab everything right now. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, Charge, Surtis Quartz, Aura, EMC. Fudge, yes! Oh, it's so good. That's really good right there. I'm very... I am pleased. I am happy right now. That's awesome. That is seriously cool. Okay, so... Uh, Game plan then, we still got Holy Stone over here, we got Honeycombs, we got Chewing Gum, Dynamite, I just don't care about that. Lightning Sword, I don't really have much of a use for because it, it is about to be dead. Uh, Holy Stone Furnace, we'll go ahead and take back, I guess. Uh, Iron Ore, we already grabbed, so we can go ahead and throw that away. Uh, what else do we want to throw away? We already threw away the coal ore and gold ore. We ha we've got a lot at home. Uh, so only some first to go ahead and pick up right there. Looking good. Do you guys have EMC? Nah, nothing from the Aether is going to have EMC. And the chest, Pez Sword will go ahead and grab back from there. Thank you very much. There you go. All right, cool. So another rack we're good on. Um, Right then. So that was step number one, or at least object number one. So we're back home to home in 37. There we go. Don't suffocate. Ah, fudge sakes. Fine, I'll leave it open, okay? I keep stuffing on this little tiny spot right here. I'll leave it open, all right? And I'll do the same on this side just to make it even, okay? Are we good now? Am I, am I, can I die? Can I, can I die? Can I be done suffocating, please? All right, chest right over here. Uh, this chest, actually. So what else do we want to uh, put away? Hmm. Let's go ahead and drop a bunch of stuff in here for right now. Uh, Holy Sun Furnace. Charge Service Course will go ahead and learn up right now. Looking beautiful, I might add. Uh, Ambrosium. We can go ahead and actually put away some stuff in this chest over here. Uh, Ambrosium Shard. Soul Sand. We can go ahead and learn right now. Might as well. So that's good. Uh, where were the furnaces? Did I pop those away? I did indeed. So here's what I think I'm going to do. We have some furnaces in the back here as well, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take these furnaces here and move them a bit more uh, upward, I should say. Up to the, the bit more or what is it the nose of the ship i think i think it's called the nose of the ship i don't really know too much about like uh nautical lingo so you know sorry that i don't really know much about ships i wish that i did i know ships on twitter and social media and my favorite senpais but i don't know ships in real life and that's what the 21st century is anyway so um furnace over here we obviously have a plethora of coal we got as much as we need actually still requires a bit of emc we don't have unlimited emc it stores up to a billion from what i read online so um we don't have a billion quite yet we don't even have a million we're not a millionaire we're about a we're a hundred thousand air you might call it so uh Right, what do we want to do in the meantime then? Let's just go ahead, I'm going to smelt up the ores, we'll learn all of them, and then, actually in the meantime, let me go ahead and go back to the area where I have my furnaces at, which I believe is right over here, so 88, we'll go ahead and teleport over to 89 right there. Do I still have any furnaces in this area, or do I take them all? We have a marshmallow workbench and a chest with double compressed netherrack. Okay, um, not really anything that we need, is there any ores in here that I have not gathered up? I don't think so. The only ore would have been diamond ore, and we already have diamonds learned, so there's literally no point. 
I think we're good. So after smelting up all the nether iron, or nether ores, I should say, uh, this is what we came out with. We got nether quartz ore, which we can learn, so that's good. We got mana-infused ingots from the mana-infused ore. You can't learn either. That's from Thermal Foundation, so a little unfortunate right there, but that's okay. We got iron ore, or iron ingot, rather, from uh, anything else. We got copper from Industrial Craft, which you can learn, so I rate that. We got tin, which we can learn, which is also awesome. A little bit more expensive, which uh, tin is still really good, though, because actually... Wait a second. I just realized something. Hold on a second. Wait. Heart canister. What do I need to make these guys? A jeweled apple. Oh my god. Guys. We have a necrotic bones. We have the ability to make the, the empty canisters. The only thing that we need now to make a heart canister is an apple. Something that I do not believe that you can get from the trees in this area. We will look into that in the future. But I may soon be able to get heart canisters with the hearts that we have, which is absolutely awesome. So either way, apart from that though, um, yeah, so we got tin ingots, which is really cool. We got labs, which we can learn. We got refined iron, which is from the pig iron. Not really sure what that is, but you can't learn it. And then lead, which is also from industrial, which is even more expensive, which we can learn. Everything else was either you can't learn it it's from a different mod, some weird stuff. You couldn't smelt it, whatever it may be. There's only a very few amount of things that you could learn in that. But what we did learn, I do definitely rate. So that's what we got looking like in there. Everything else, I mean... We've basically capped out on what we can learn and what we can't. I mean, I'll go ahead and learn that little bit of uh, the stew there. But yeah, still, we have basically learned everything that we can in the nether. At least, at least I think so. I don't think there's anything else that we could learn that we didn't take the opportunity to. Uh, anything else that might possibly give... Oh, you know what, actually? I'm just going to go ahead and take the uh, iron doors from me. They look really cool, but they're a few thousand EMC. So I'll go ahead and take those guys and learn them up in there. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, that's about it, really. I guess, if anything, what we could do is maybe learn a furnace. I don't know. We could, I guess we could learn a furnace right there. Learn that up. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and search up furnace and grab one back. Thank you very much. All right. Um, yeah. We've learned up pretty much everything that we can inside of the nether. There's not really more to what we can get. So what I want to go ahead and check out real fast then is that next item on the quest book. Uh, Bridging the gaps. This is an alchemical coin mill. What do you need? And can I possibly use the EMC table to make you? Alchemical coin mill? You require... Oh, it's alchemical coins. Okay, cool. Uh, Transmute EMC source converted to aether coins and vice versa using the coin mill. It's 10,000 EMC and it requires covalence dust. Gold, iron, and gold. Covales is made out of... Oh, that's odd. Cobblestone and charcoal. What about this one, though? Cobble, no, redstone and iron. Okay, sure. Why not? I... That's fine. Sure, why not? Uh, redstone and then iron. Wait, that's lead. Never mind. Hold on. Uh, let me go ahead and drop it back in there. Where is the iron? So we got the redstone and we've got the iron. Um, so if you just do that, we get... 40 medium covalence us and then was the other one what was this low covalence us and then what about high oh high covalence us diamond and coal Ooh, is there a difference there doesn't seem to be a difference in anything kind of want to learn that up though so what do you need for it you need um coal and diamond might as well learn it we might as well learn all of them in all honesty so medium covalence us right there uh diamond and then as well as the coal so we can learn that up and that is the high covalence us that's actually 8,000 emc right there pretty hefty and then the low covalence us i believe what was it again cobblestone and charcoal interesting I don't really have the ability. Maybe I do actually. Hold on a second. I might be able to just make some charcoal with what I've already got on me. So let's go ahead and take a philosopher's stone. I've got the one over here. And then we'll take up the stack of wood that is right over. I want to see if I'm doing this right, right? And then a little bit of coal. Is this going to work or not? We put the philosopher's stone over there. We put the coal in the bottom. Then a bunch of hellbark wood right there. And you get charcoal from it. That's how you make yourself known, baby. And then, uh, so what do we need right there? We need that and cobblestone. That's the thing that I haven't learned yet. I don't have cobblestone learned. Sunday would not be very happy with me whatsoever. So we need cobblestone. I'll be right back. I actually just realized the cobblestone's a little bit too tedious to get in the nether. I know how to get it, and I've actually been near cobblestone. I just kind of CBA right now, so we're not going to do it. Um, let's just learn up that we need to. So we'll go ahead and take the uh, high covalent stuff out of here. We only need one, and then we need four, two iron, and then five gold. Okay, not too bad. Uh, one, two from there, and then let me get... This is just the best thing ever. This right here this is what a mod pack should be. You know what I mean? This is what a mod pack should be. Uh, crafting table right down here. Just kind of realize that 
we never really need a crafting table because we have the philosopher's stone but that's okay gold going out high covalence dust and then two iron and now we've got ourselves an alchemical coin mill okay uh where do we want to put this guy i guess we just put him right down there so alchemical coin mill oh oh wow wow that's impressive i'm gonna take this thing real fast here so for every coin that i got in the aether that's 1000 emc We're coming right around to the end of it. I'm a little bit curious as to how much I'm going to have. I think I had 280-something coins to start. So does that mean I'm going to have 280,000 EMC? I think actually so. So wait a minute. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm a little bit kind of... Uh, I'm a little bit nervous to see how much EMC I'm going to get from this right now. So we currently have 147,000. Oh my... We have 436,000 just from the Aether. That's impressive. That is seriously impressive. And I guess if we ever want to, we can just take the alchemical coin back out right there. But 436,000 EMC. We mostly got that from defeating Aether dungeon bosses. So that's really, really cool. Um, that's awesome, dude. So we have a lot of EMC. To put that in perspective, how many diamonds can we buy? 53 diamonds. It's really... I mean, now that you think about it, is it really all that much? I guess it still is. I mean, coming from what we've done in the mod pack so far, I would say that the Aether was definitely worthy of what we have. I don't know if we really should have needed or should have gotten more, in my opinion, but it was still worth it for sure, though. All in all, definitely a really, really cool structure, and we did go ahead and complete the quest right over here. We'll get the reward claims done in a little bit here, but the next quest is Cracking Heads. Kill Wither Skeletons until you have three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Now, one thing before I do real fast, okay? I'm just gonna check. Does a Wither Skeleton Skull have EMC? It does not. Of course it doesn't. Great mod pack. So tomorrow, it looks like we might be fighting Keon. Now, if you guys don't know the reference to that, Keon's the mod, the maker, the owner, the creator of Mad Pack 3. And uh, he's appeared in Mad Pack 2 in wither form, in a very dangerous form. But I think tomorrow, we might either be facing him or just a standard vanilla uh, wither. I believe it's a standard vanilla wither. Either way, this is a banger of an episode. A little bit of a short one. Did wake up a little bit late, so I wanted to just get it, like, ripe and fresh for you guys today. Um, we unlocked the chase station table. We have unlimited anything. So long as we put in a little bit of effort and grinding. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to go dip it off right here. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Take care, and I'll catch you back tomorrow for another episode of Mad Pack 3. Ciao!